party people today I'm going to be sharing with you what will be in my kids stockings how do I word this discreetly <laughs> I've tried four times we're just gonna leave it at that a couple things I want to say one financial tip if you're ready for it if you want to save a hundred or so dollars don't get stocking stuffers there's my tip for you easy way to save a hundred dollars actually also I do try to get semi-useful items uh, because the very first year I did this I think I just got a whole bunch of random I don't know I do my best to make it useful and justify things and all that good stuff but at the end of the day it it's a stocking you know what I mean and I will say I shopped for this stuff uh, like three weeks ago so hopefully I did a good job picking out some useful items things that won't end up in the garbage in a couple of weeks so we're gonna find out I have four kids ages it's always hard to remember. She'll be 10 soon. 741. Nailed it. Now for the goods. There's a lot of stuff. I have I have too many things. Too many. Also, really big things. Like, why do I think that this is gonna fit in a stocking? <laughs> Maybe I thought, oh, I'll take the little items out. I don't know. Oh, there's two more bags. Two more. <gasps> oh, I found some gems. Okay. Well, gems that the kids will think they're gems, I don't. But that's okay. They're not for me. Oh, one more bag. Awesome. Let me just. Here's the mountain of crap. Those are the stockings the crap will inevitably end up in. Okay, I'm gonna try to separate this. And you know, same thing happened uh, as when I was shopping for their Christmas gifts. I kept thinking, Wentworth doesn't have anything compared to the girls. And now that I'm looking, I'm like, well, Wentworth has plenty. Even like five things is plenty. I went way overboard with their stockings. Oh my gosh. I thought I put this back. I got it. I got it for it. Like this is not gonna fit in a stocking, Kim. <laughs> Ooh, this is for me. Baptiste dry shampoo, rose gold. I think I smelled this in the store. It smells like rich people's houses. Let me just, well, I don't know what it smells like. It smells like something. Pretty and delicate. I don't feel delicate. Okay, way too much, way too much stuff. What is this scrunchie doing? Oh, Meredith. Oh my, I got her like one thing. Poor Meredith. Bum, bum, bum. This brush <laughs> I shared with you was a gift uh, in my gift video, but now I'm, somehow it ended up in the stocking stuffer collection. I'm probably just gonna keep it out. Okay, let's start with Sweet Meredith. She's one years old. What does a one year old need in her stocking? Nothing. I did, however, end up getting two things for her. This is like a wooden earthworm. So exciting. I got this from Thrive Market. It's just a wooden toy. I'm sure they sell them all over Amazon. And then I got her some bath tub tabs. Eight water coloring tablets. Great. She's gonna love it. Okay, who should I share with you next? I actually, let me just share these with you. I may add these to a Christmas Eve box. I don't know if I'm putting one together. I did buy them pajamas not matching because that's my life. I was, I almost bought them matching pajamas and then I saw that they were like $15 a piece and I was like, Ugh. $15 times four kids plus two adults. The adult ones are like at least $30. I thought, no, I did not want to do it. So I went to Once Upon a Child, a local consignment shop and I got them pajamas. They were like $3 a piece. Christmas pajamas. Anyway, I don't know why I started talking about pajamas. Christmas Eve box, I might throw these in. These are hot chocolate drink bombs. I'm sure you've been seeing these all over your social media pages. I don't know, I'm not in that realm. One of my friends told me about it and she said they were amazing. Add to hot milk and stir. I know, I think the kids will enjoy them. It's like, I like hot chocolate, so why not? Perfect weather for it lately, am I right? The only reason I say I'm probably gonna add these to a Christmas Eve box is because there won't be any room in their stockings, because this is a lot of stuff. Let's start with Avelina. I ended up getting two different things. I'm not really sure the difference. There was a difference in price, and then also, I think, oh, oh it's hair dye if you didn't gather, but it's semi-permanent, and this one comes out in 48 washes, it says, or it stays for 45 washes. Why did I say 48? I don't know. And then this one, I think, said it stays for like 12 or something. This one was cheaper, maybe more expensive. I don't know. This was like more natural. I got them both at Target. I'm unsure which one we're gonna use. There's a long story behind this. So short story long, here we go. 
I used to be that mom. Before I had kids, I thought, my kids are never gonna dye their hair. They can dye their hair when they move out of the house. Now look at me, buying hair dye for my kids. And also, I feel like the perfect parents are the ones without kids, am I right? Anyway, I've let a lot of things go. But for a birthday party, Avelina went with a friend to get their hair dyed, and it was semi-permanent. It lasted two, not even two washes. The first wash, it basically all washed out. But she loved it while it was in there, and she had purple, and it was lovely. So I thought, oh my gosh, what a great gift idea that would be. So obviously I picked these up for her. This one, 45 washes, it's gonna stay. I don't know if I believe that, but hopefully maybe it'll stay more than one wash. Hopefully it won't damage her hair forever also. We're gonna find out, so I got these for her. I will also add uh, the hair chalk. We, I think we got that for them last year for Christmas. They love it so much. Even Wentworth goes to town, they love it. When they have friends over, they have fun with it. Okay, I got this in like a Michael's $5 grab bag, and it's just a little notebook. I thought it was cute. I'm gonna throw it in her stocking. And then I got these. This was $5, I think. No, ooh, $8 from Target. It's a set of socks and then a little eye cover, whatever that, an eye mask. I thought that was cute. I mean, are they gonna actually use the eye mask? Probably once and then they'll lose it or it'll get shoved under their mattress or something. I got some magnetic clips. I can't remember if I picked these up for me or Avelina. I do need some magnets. I got these for Home Goods for $3. She also asked for mechanical pencils. I don't know why, but I aim to please, so that's what I got her. I got her a mask. She's into reindeers lately. She recently was in a play where she was Prancer, so I think that she'll really enjoy this just for fun one night. Uh, she also asked for nails, uh, like fake nails, whatever this is. Oh, it's upside down, who cares? Make your own press on nail art, okay. I wanna say this was $5 from Target. Maybe 10 or eight, somewhere around there. But one set from like five below is, I don't know, five bucks. Oh my gosh, another great item. Okay, this is great for like, you know, pre-teens. They're seeing it everywhere. So I got my kids those like Polaroid cameras and she requested the LED lights and to hang up her pictures, all the ones she's gonna take. Okay, here's the thing with my daughter. Okay, so, uh, so many things. We're very open to them about this is not our forever home. We plan on moving very soon. COVID kind of set us back a while, but we're still working on it. So when my daughter gets special things, she saves them for her new room. So it's always an effort on my part to try to convince her like, use the things and enjoy them while you have them. It's a lesson that I learned a lot later in life. Short story long in explaining that I got her this box of LED string lights with clips. I got them off Amazon. Pretty good price for like, I think it's 30 feet of it. And then I stopped by, there should be one more thing. No? I don't know. Ulta, I needed to grab something and they had stocking stuffers, like five for 10. Why did I get five? I think it was five for $10. I can't find the fifth thing. Maybe I bought something for myself and I just can't remember. Maybe we'll find it. So I got this little eyeshadow set and then this little poof that she can throw on her backpack or something. Oh my gosh, alone these are $5 a piece. So I really scored a deal on that. Is it worth $5? Oh, and there's a little lip gloss attached to this keychain too. So that's a screaming deal. And um, oh, makeup. We'll talk about that when we get to Eleanor. And then for each of the kids, I got this, I don't even know what it's called. Mini something. Mini brands. Oh man. Avelina asked for these last year. I could not find them anywhere. And I was randomly going through Target on a day that I just needed something, I don't even remember what it was. So I went through the Christmas section because I can't say no to that. And I saw these and I thought, this is the reason why I walked through the Christmas section. That is the universe's way of saying, Kim, get these for your kids. So I picked up one for each of the kids because I can't just get one and not the other because then, you know, what are they gonna do? Sit and watch one of the kids open up their gifts? No. Okay, that is all the stocking stuffers that I got for Avelina. Way too much, I know. Maybe we'll pare it down. Maybe we'll wrap some up into gifts. We'll see. For Eleanor, I'll show you the things that I got similar. So I got her the makeup eyeshadow and then the poof and then this thing. Oh, and of course hers is a unicorn. The little socks and eye mask set for $8 from Target. Unicorn, can you believe it? Eleanor is a stinker for all things unicorn. And what I wanted to say about the makeup Oh, okay, so she has a cousin and then a neighborhood friend that come over almost every weekend and they love playing together, they love it. I let them play with an old, not an old, it's a nice eyeshadow makeup set. I never use it and Eleanor's really into it so I let them play with it. Well, the other day when we're birthday party, they were over hanging out and one of them told Eleanor that they asked me if they could play with my makeup and I said yes and so I found them outside in the sand with my makeup and my makeup brushes and I was like, oh my God. 
So hopefully if I get her this, she will stay out of my makeup. I was like, Eleanor, it needs to be your responsibility to ask me, okay? I also, Eleanor is my bougie girl. You guys know all about it. I got her this balm, this uh, shower, what is it called, a bath balm? I don't even know. Fragrance with sweet cupcakes and vanilla icing. Yeah, she loves to take baths. I'm telling you guys. She is like that woman. I love it. I, I am not that way. She's the opposite of me. So she was taking a bath the other day. She had her iPad set up. She was watching something. Or maybe she was playing music. I don't remember. And she was just in the bath. She had her robe set up ready to go once she got out. Bubbles all around. It was so funny. I love her so much. So I think she's really gonna enjoy that bath bomb. Oh, and I also got her a purple hair coloring set because I can't get one and not the other. You know what I mean? And now I feel like Wentworth's gonna be left out. But I, I cannot believe that I am the parent getting my seven year old hair dye. Semi permanent. Does that justify it? That is semi permanent? <laughs> No. Okay, and then another thing I got similar was a sheet mask. Eleanor's is gingerbread. I also got her a little notebook. This was in my Michael's grab box, and I just, everyone's getting notebooks for Christmas over and over again. Oh my gosh, and then I got this from Thrive Market. It's a, a Christmas ornament, but I thought it was so darling, and Eleanor's just gonna flip a wig when she sees this, so I just decided to throw it in her stocking. Apparently, that little eyeshadow set wasn't enough. I also got this for her. This was from Target, I wanna say it's $10, 25 piece beauty set, and this has it all. The mattes, the shimmers, oh no it doesn't. Are those lip glosses? I don't know, it's got some blush in there. She's gonna love this, love it. And then I also got her some mini brand pieces of crap. Oh, this is the fifth item that I got from Ulta or Sephora. I don't know the difference between those two stores. They had like the five for $10 deal, so I got those. How much are those normally? It doesn't say. Okay, and then I got this for her. Definitely way too many things. Are we on the same page here? You're like, Kim, why did you get that? Like that, I feel like this is as much as some people got their kids just for Christmas. Oh Lord, help me. Well, here we are, okay, can't take it back now. I mean, I can return some stuff, but I won't. Maybe I'll keep some stuff in my board bin. I haven't decided. Got some rainbow dough for them. I think this is, is it clay or Play-Doh? A rainbow of fun. I don't know, they'll like it. Something to keep them busy for 10 minutes. And then, I showed you this earlier, I got this for them. I might split this between the two girls, give one half, one the other. I don't, what is this even? Lip gloss, squishy toy gift set, because who doesn't want a squish, squishy toy? What are these, just gems? Lord. Okay, and then for Wentworth over here, I got him, again, the mini brand ball set. I don't even know how many mini brands are in here. Oh, five surprises. Okay, well that's worth it. I mean, is it worth, I don't know how much this was. I don't remember. It was a ridiculous price, maybe $8. Will their smile be worth $8? We'll find out. And then I found these. I don't know where I found them. Big lot, big lots. For $2, they're, it's chocolate money. You guys, I've seen these in Euro all the time, but I've never seen them in dollar dollar bills, y'all. I couldn't believe it when I found it, $100. I always see this these in Euro, and I don't know why. I live in America. I'm sure there's a reason behind it, I just don't know it. And then Wentworth, I got him this Ryan toy, a piece of crap, I don't know what this is. Mystery figure, cool. He's gonna enjoy opening that, and then I got him some other stuff. A Paw Patrol mystery thing. Another Paw Patrol item thing. I don't know, who is this? Chase. I also grabbed him some watercoloring tablets for the bath. I found these at Target in the dollar spot. I, I hope they were a dollar. If they were more than a dollar, I'm gonna have to go to therapy. I also got him this rainbow dough. I wanna say this was in the dollar spot too, but it doesn't have like a dollar spot sticker on it, so who knows. And then I'm an idiot and thought this would fit in his stocking. <laughs> I don't know, what's wrong with me? I mean, very cool, right? When we're just gonna have a field day with these. Part of me thinks I should put them in Alex's stocking and they can just play with them together. They were, I found these at CVS, $14, but they were on sale. I think I got them for $9.99 or something. I, binoculars, that's so fun. I feel like the kids are gonna fight over these. It's inevitable, but there's that. I'm, de I'm definitely not getting them a set of binoculars for each of them, come on. I wonder if they're much smaller out of the box. Oh my gosh, look at this, it comes in its own little case. Oh, that is high quality. Oh, oh, it comes with some stuff. Oh my gosh, I can see my bank account now. Looking a little low. I don't know how binoculars work, really. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, the lens cap is on. <laughs> 
Still can't see anything. Okay, anyway, I feel like everyone's gonna have a field day with these. These are just so fun. Nifty, not, I, uh, will these fit this dog? I don't know, I might wrap these as well. That is everything. I did get Alex some stuff for his stocking. I feel like the only things I bought for Alex are stocking stuffers. I have yet to buy him an actual gift. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this, that's a little different. I keep asking, like, I don't know what to get him. You know what, he wants a computer screen. for It's like a thousand dollars. I'm not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy a new oven before we buy a $1,000 computer. <laughs> I still don't want to buy a new oven though. Anyway, okay, stocking stuffers are done. I hope I gave you some ideas or at least uh, you had fun hanging out with me for a little bit. If you did subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I will see you next time. Bye.